I can confidently say that this is by far the most powerful single unit that is on the market right now. There are a couple of contenders against the Delta Pro 3, but EcoFlow has absolutely done a great job of bringing a solar generator that is both portable and powerful that even has 240 volt split phase power in it. I wanna show you all the details in this video and let you know how well it's worked for me over the last month as I've been testing it. And if you're looking for something that's right in that happy medium of being portable and movable yet has the capability of running a house, then this is it. One of the key features on why I like the Delta Pro 3 so much is because of the solar input. Now it doesn't have the highest solar input rating for a single unit on the market, but it does have much more solar input than the original Delta Pro. Now I don't know why they went from Delta Pro to Delta Pro 3. I don't know what happened to the Delta Pro 2, but either way, here's the Delta Pro 3. And the biggest thing that it has going for it is the 240 volt outlets right here. This is an L1430 connection, which means you can access the full 4,000 watt capacity of the inverter. That's the continuous draw rate. Now it will peak or surge up to 8,000 watts. The real question is what will run for less than 4,000 watts? Now, there are a few main appliances at home that use 240 volt split phase power and draw a lot of energy. The most common one that people generally use when they're looking for backup power is a well pump. Now most well pumps will run anywhere from 800 to 1500 watts. So this can absolutely handle the load as well as the surge of a typical house well pump. And then the next most common backup thing that people want is water heater or air conditioner. Now, generally speaking, an electric water heater is gonna use more than 4,000 watts in order to run. And for the most part, all the other 240 volt appliances are also gonna use more than 4,000 watts to run, with the exception of some air conditioners. If you have like a one or two ton air conditioner, it's probably gonna be runnable off of the Delta Pro 3, but regardless, you will want to get a soft start device. I usually recommend the ones from Micro Air. They're usually about $400 and they're absolutely worth it because they take that huge surge of energy that an air conditioner needs to get started and drops it down really low. But if you have a three, four or five ton air conditioner, the likelihood of this being able to run it is very low, especially if you have to run it while running the fridge and the freezer and the fans and TV and Wi-Fi and all those other things. Which basically means if you've got an electric dryer, electric water heater, an oven or range that uses 240 volts, those are not gonna be able to be powered by the Delta Pro 3, at least if it's only one unit. And that's one of the coolest things about the Delta Pro 3 is you can connect up to three of them together. To put three together, you have to have the Smart Home Panel 2, which is also from EcoFlow, and that will allow you to run up to 12 circuits in your house. And that's an automatic transfer switch, so if you're not at home and the power goes out from the grid, then the Delta Pro 3s automatically start running in less than 10 milliseconds, I believe is what it is. And the way that it does that is through this connection port here. And then here you also have your battery expandability port. You can add up to two expansion batteries. Now each internal battery is lithium iron phosphate rated to 4,000 watts and it has 4,096 watt hours of capacity. So a single Delta Pro 3 with two batteries, which are designed to stack on top of the Delta Pro 3, those each have 4,096 watt hours. So you're gonna get about 12.3 kilowatt hours of capacity, which for most people is plenty for running lights, fans, fridges, freezers, Wi-Fi, TV, those simple things that you need for backup power that's gonna be all you need, and including a well pump as well. So if your house uses natural gas or propane, that means most likely that your water heater, dryer, and range, your cooktop and oven, are also gonna be using propane or natural gas, which means they're not gonna use a lot of energy. And that's where having just one of these is going to be enough. But if any of those use electricity for heating, then you'll need at least two of these for sure. And the way you connect those together is with the same port, but with the 50 amp hub, which is this right here. So you'd plug unit one into here, unit two into here, and then this will give you 8,000 watts of output through this port. And this will allow you to connect directly to an interlock switch on your house, which means you turn off power from the grid and then you run it directly off of the Delta Pro 3s through this hub. Now the third part of a solar generator that's really important to pay attention to is the solar input. So for solar generators, it's always inverter output, which is how much you can run, battery capacity and expandability, which is your fuel tank when there's no sun, and then three, how fast you can recharge it. 
The Delta Pro 3 uses two solar input ports, which they're calling their high PV and low PV, similar to the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra, which is almost twice as big as capacity and output and everything as this unit. But the high input allows you to have anywhere from 30 to 150 volts and 15 amps. And then the low input is anywhere from 11 to 60 volts, but up to 20 amps. So I personally don't really care for charge controllers or solar inputs that are up to that 60 volt range because I have found it's very difficult with 100 watt, 200 watt, and 400 watt panels to stay below the 60 volt range. But because it does allow for such high amperage, then it's a little bit easier using 100 watt and 200 watt panels to get the full 1000 watt rating of the low PV input. The high MP input is rated to 1600 watts, just like the earlier edition of the Delta Pro. Now I personally recommend for the high input, which is the yellow one here, that you use four 400 watt solar panels with a VOC rating around 37 volts. Those are pretty common to find and you can find them at poweredportablesolar.com. And I believe you can also find them at ecoflow.com. Either way, I'll have links and discount codes, everything down below in the description. Just click the show more button. There are two other main units that are similar to the Delta Pro 3, one from Zendur and one from Anchor Solix. What Ecoflow has done differently though is worked on that solar input, keeping it at 2600 watts. Where the Delta Pro 3 comes in is it may not have as big of an inverter as some of the similar size competitors, but its expandability is really easy and the solar input is quite good. So there is kind of a give and take with all of these units. There isn't one that beats all of the others in every single category. Now on the side, you have basically all of your different 12 volt outputs. You have a 12 volt five millimeter barrel plug, which is rated up to five amps. You have a remote connection here, and then as well a 12 volt 30 amp connection. So if you needed to run a 12 volt bus bar, something like that in an RV or a van where you wanted to run a bunch of 12 volt equipment, you'd connect it right here using the Anderson power pole connector, which is a very common connector. And if you wanna use this in your RV, simply slide open this door, and here you have your TT30 output, which is rated to a full 30 amps, at 120 volts. Generally speaking, if your RV has one air conditioner, it's gonna be a 30 amp service, or if your RV has two or three air conditioners, then it's gonna be a 50 amp. In this case, you can get a full 3,600 watts out to your RV, or if you really needed to split it, you could get a splitter that goes from this L1430 on the front to a NEMA 1450 basically a 50 amp adapter, and you will be getting split phase power out of this, but the way it works in an RV is there's just two legs of 120, and it doesn't matter if they're in split phase or not. So you could run a 50 amp RV, but only up to about 32 to 33 amps. So not much more than what you're gonna go ahead and get out of this service right here on the side. I use this Uline cart for all sorts of stuff. I've just had it for so many years now that it becomes a very handy cart, but you don't have to have a cart because there is a telescoping handle and it comes out pretty far, allows you to lift it up and use these wheels for moving it around. And one of the neat things is, yes, you do have rubber pads on the bottom, but these black guards here that are on the handles actually serve a purpose so that way you can tilt the whole Delta Pro 3 up on end and have it land on something other than this plastic. One major thing that's new to the Delta Pro 3 that I have not seen any other solar generator do is this does have the ability to charge from an alternator. So if you're in a van life setup or a car setup where you want to have lots of power and want to alternator charge while you're driving, you can get up to 800 watts of alternator charging, but you have to make sure that your alternator is rated for it. Not any old alternator will charge this up, so keep that in mind. Don't just plug in your alternator. One major thing to keep in mind is that you cannot run both the 120 and 240 volt outlets at the same time. If you wanted that feature, you'll need to go up to the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra, which is much bigger, much heavier, not as easy to move around. But as you can see here, as I switch between these two, I can hear the inverter clicking inside and I am not able to run both of these. Even if I push both buttons at the same time, it, it doesn't let me do both of them at the same time. To show you just how easy this is to connect to my house, all I'm gonna do is turn off the inverter here and I'm gonna use this L1430 plug and I keep an L1430 extension cable strung up in my garage because I oftentimes have my solar generators over here, but my interlock switch is on the other side of the garage. So all I'm gonna do is plug this right in 
And then over here, I have the other side of that extension cable, and I simply use a NEMA SS2-50P generator inlet right here, which goes to my interlock switch in my main electrical panel. And that means I can turn off power from the grid and turn on power from the Delta Pro 3. I had this installed because this is a 50 amp rated unit. So if I ever use a system, for example, like two Delta Pro 3s with that dual voltage hub, then I can use this heavier gauge cable, which will allow for more amperage and I can plug it into here. But for now, I'm just gonna plug in 4,000 watts right here, locks in. All I have to do is flip the switch, turn on the AC output and I'm running my house. Now the Delta Pro 3 includes a five year warranty, which is pretty high for the industry. A lot of solar generator companies don't go up to five years, but five years is starting to become a little bit more of the norm. Now me personally, I've had good experiences with EcoFlow's customer service. If I've had a unit that has had an issue, I'm able to call them up. They usually answer very quickly and either replace the unit or find out what's going on with it and can fix it remotely or tell me what I need to do in order to fix it. The biggest thing I can say with EcoFlow is make sure you always have the latest firmware update in your unit. That's gonna help it operate the most efficiently and with the least amount of kinks. I don't know what the price point is going to be on the Delta Pro 3. So if you're interested in the unit, you can use the coupon codes down below and that helps support the channel as well. Or if you're interested in finding complete kits that include all the solar panels, solar cables, adapters, carry cases, extra customer service for lifetime support, all of those things, then you can go to poweredportablesolar.com or email me at info at poweredportablesolar.com. This is definitely a unit that you can take with you. It does weigh a little bit, but not as much as other units. So it is easier to move around. And especially with the telescoping handle, it's very helpful to move that around. And I like the idea that the batteries will stack vertically because in the previous model, you had to have the batteries go horizontally and that took up a lot of space. Now, the most important thing is to be prepared. And I personally like to be prepared with solar because because I find it's really reliable. I don't have to worry about gas going bad or changing a spark plug or anything like that, checking the oil. I simply push a button, turn it on, push a button here. I know that if I'm away and I'm traveling to do a solar installation or anything like that for a customer, that my wife can turn it on and turn on the 240 volts and plug it in, flip a switch, and in less than five steps, she could be running all of the essentials of the house very easily. As long as this continues to run without any flaws and I will continue to do daily testing on it and let you know how it compares to other units and head to head comparisons. If it performs well through all of that, then it'll be something that I would recommend anybody who wants portable power get and have ready to go. So that way you're ready to go at any time. Thanks guys, be prepared. See you on the next video.